Cults, I wish I could be there in person tonight to help recognize your tremendous career with the Coventry Blaze. And you're just a cornerstone of so many great teams, so many great accomplishments, so many great moments. It's fun to think back and reminisce. They asked if I could come up with just one quality that I thought set you apart. Coming up with one was hot, tough, but in my mind, it was just your ability to create opportunities for teammates, create opportunities for yourself, and capitalize on those opportunities really when, we, when our team needed it the most. Uh, the example that I always go back to, just I thought it was the quintessential Adam Calder moment, was the 2009-2010 Elite League season when he scored back-to-back -back hat tricks against the Edinburgh Capitals to clinch the Elite League Championship. Man, that was just legendary. I don't know where you pulled that out of, out of but it was pretty amazing and fun, so much fun to be a part of. So let me just say thanks for being such a great teammate, such great line mate, um, a great friend over a time in Coventry. Congratulations, it's a well-deserved honor. So I want to congratulate Adam on a, on, a, on a great night, a big accomplishment to get a jersey retired for any team or pro team. It's a huge accomplishment. I mean, a person can look back or you can look back and say, you know what, I did something special there. I was a big uh, part of that organization. He built the organization. You know, when you look in the banners, it's a huge achievement of what you've done. You look at the points you put up, the championships, you know, it's a huge, huge accomplishment. You look back at your career in the East Coast League, what you did there, and back to the NCAA where you won a national championship, not many guys can say that. So, you know, I, I, I'm honored to be a teammate of you, honored to be a friend, and proud of your accomplishments. So congratulations, Adam. I got to get back to beaver hunting. Hey guys, just want to say a few words regarding Adam Calder's jersey retirement tomorrow night um, in Coventry. Um, great acknowledgement for a great player. Um, Adam Calder was a guy that was uh, truly one of the best players, if not the best player um, I played with in, in Coventry for a long, long time. And um, the most clutch guy in Elite League history as far as I'm concerned, and I'm sure most other people feel the same way. But what hasn't been said is, is, is the rest of his game. And... Um, you know, he was very positionally sound. He was a guy that was a, had the ability to kill penalties as a top goal scorer. And, and, and you know what? Even even the odd time, he wasn't afraid to drop the gloves if, if teams started taking liberties on him. Um, as a teammate, we had a great group in Coventry. And as a teammate, he was perfect in the room. A uh, man of very few words, but very miserable in a, in a good way. And um, I guess the one area that Colts wasn't overly interested in was his forechecking. Um, and an example of this would be... Uh, I remember my first year um, in Coventry before it was evident that Tom was seeing me as a third line player um, for pretty much my whole career. Uh, I got to play with DC and, and calls for, for a couple months and I remember come, one time coming through the middle with a puck and chipping a puck in his corner and like I said before, a guy very few words, um, the way he glanced over at me made it very clear that I wasn't going to chip a puck in his corner unless I was going to go get it myself. And uh, I think he ended up with 65 goals or 130 points that year, something stupid like that. And um, so it wasn't something that bothered me overly too much. And I was happy to go get him the puck. Um, and like I said, not just the clutch goals with Colts, but the timely goals as well. Um, those went unnoticed. I think sometimes, you know, if we were struggling for offense one night, you know, one nothing, two nothing down, and needed a spark, he'd get a goal from nothing. Um, you know, games where you may be holding on to a lead and he needed to bury teams, he came up with that goal to just put teams away, and he just, just a pure goal scorer through and through, and all in all, just a great teammate and a great guy, and uh, thoroughly deserved, so enjoy your evening calls, and uh, looking forward to having a few with you at Christmas time.